In many games, death is a constant reminder. In D&D and many other TTRPGs, a total party kill occurs when most or all of the members of the party are wiped out, ending the story and the session. It happens for a number of reasons, but usually because the dice gods have decided that it's your time. Today we're going to be talking about alternatives that you can use at your table instead of wiping out your players. You might be shouting at your screens right now saying, Loki, why would I want to stop my players from TPK in? Well, I'm glad you asked. While I believe that TPKs have value at the table, and it's always good to have it happen at least once, I do not believe that parties TPK regularly, or even semi-regularly, is a good idea for the story or the plot. When parties TPK, the story ends for that group, typically. If you're lucky, you'll roll up a new game and continue playing. If you're not, well, the game might break down and players might leave. A TPK is a learning experience, or at least it should be. Something that is a trial of passage for newer players to teach them how to strategize and coordinate with their team members. You can still teach other players how these ideas work without having to rip away their character sheets and have them start all over again. The first idea, and this is a very obvious one, is to have the party get captured rather than killed and brought to the lair of whatever monsters or enemies who have defeated them. This one isn't always possible because not all monsters are going to let people survive, but many monsters, especially those who eat adventurers, would rather keep them alive as to not spoil the meat. A few players may unfortunately already be dead by rolling you know, bad death saves, but the others will be brought in alive, most likely. This can lead to some really interesting scenarios, where the players are taunted and teased in cages, leading them to eventually escape and find their way out of the dungeon. This idea is great for both old school and new school dungeon masters, whether you're running a high fantasy campaign or a gritty low fantasy game. If you're running gritty, you can have the players spot one of their dead allies hanging over a fire pit, rotisserie style, dismembered and partially eaten by the monsters who are, you know, who have captured them. These kind of things really give the party an emotional response and a lasting impression, and I find as a dungeon master that creating emotional responses from my players can have great value in determining whether my game is a good game or a great game. The second idea is to have the players all wake up with monsters dead around them. Nobody knows what happened, but perhaps there is a conspiracy afoot. Maybe somebody saved the day. Maybe one of the players made a deal with a powerful entity that nobody knows about. This entity may eventually reveal itself to the party and demand the party help it, which could lead to a really cool side quest or a massive boss fight where the party attempts to destroy this entity and remove themselves from any shackles or bindings. My next idea, and this is one I've actually done a couple of years ago, I had the party almost get TPK'd in the desert uh, of one of my campaigns. I, I, I say that I I, al I almost tried to TPK them, but I didn't almost. They, they got themselves in a bad situation and, and almost got themselves killed. But they ended up getting captured and brought in to an arena as gladiators the party had lost their freedom, ended up in chains, and were branded slaves. The party now fight to stay alive, and they eventually conspired to gain their own freedom. If any of you guys have watched Spartacus, whether that's the movie from the 60s or the more recent series, you can take a lot of inspiration from how to run training sessions for the players, social encounters, discipline, and combat. Sure, this can really change a campaign. But if the party does escape, leaves the desert region, and returns home, it's likely they'll never actually have to deal with these people again, unless you want them to. I've also had a group of bandits knock the party out, steal their belongings, and leave a trail back to their base. The party woke up, rested, and travelled to their base, managed to sneak in, took their stuff back, and got out. It was pretty cool. It added to the story and taught them that rushing into combat wasn't always the best idea. Sometimes a bit of cloak and dagger works just as well. What do you guys think is a cool alternative to a TPK? Are there any that you've done or seen in games that you've played? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video guys. I'll see you next time on Loki's Lair. Until then.